realistically losing the ball. You see, what have you been complaining about? What? What? How will you know? When you sit here all day watching television. When your niece is out there cultivating trouble for us. Edna, what is the matter again? Can't we have some peace in this house? Oh God, you will soon have pieces. I say you will soon have pieces. The way your niece goes out and comes back anytime she likes, you will soon have pieces. Edna, Cynthia is an adult. By the way, it's just, uh, just 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Is it too late? Hey. That useless girl leaves the house as early as 6 o'clock in the morning without doing her domestic chores. Come back anytime she likes. My dear, 4 o'clock is late. Do you get me? It is very, very late. What is the matter with you? A skull. Question and answer. Look. Edna, uh, you, you know, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even understand why you're encouraging your knees to be wayward and useless. Hey. <laughs> You sound as if you care so much about Oh, yes, sir. Yes, I care. I care because I don't want her corrupting my daughter. I don't want her sitting around my house, lazing about, eating my food, doing nothing. Oh, but Cynthia was doing perfectly well in your shop until you decided to sack her without any good reason. She was doing very well. Oh, she was doing very well by, by, by parading her body, shaking her buttocks, distracting my male customers, spoiling my business. Is that how she was doing very well? Edna, you are impossible. I don't blame you. I'm impossible, eh? When food comes at normal intervals, eh? And you know which football team is against the other? Arsenal against Manchester, Manchester against uh, United Emirates, Emirates against uh, Liverpool. I don't blame you. I don't blame you because you think the world is a football field. Edna, you are talking to me, Ogo. I said, go ahead and fight. May the devil not push you to touch me one day. Watch football, watch TV. I'm just there against you. It's so long. Thank you with God Almighty. Don't leave me, please, Angel. You're all that I have now. See, Daddy has gone. Mommy has gone. You're the only one left. Please. I love you, Angel. Okay? Stay with me. Uh, Madam, you have not left. Please. Please, I beg you, don't let her die, please. We are doing all in our powers, but you have to help us too. I beg you in the name of God. Madam, this is not about God's name. We need 500,000 naira to carry out the heart operation on how to correct the hole. Otherwise... Doctor, I know. I know. But I beg you in the name of anything you believe in. Please, I beg you in the name of the Lord Most High. Five money. After the surgery, I will get some money and repay you. This is a hospital, not a charity organization. And instead of sitting here shedding tears, looking at her and talking to her, why don't you go out there and look for the money? Because the more you talk to her, the more her heart palpitates. She doesn't need that. Besides, the nurses are taking good care of her. Excuse me. I want to go and look for some money, okay? But I promise you, you will go home, okay? You will leave this hospital alive, even if it is the last thing I do. You will leave this hospital alive, okay? I'll be back. Do you need anything? Okay. I'll be back, okay? 
Jesus. Hang in there, okay? I love you. time out to reassess your life. Think about your life and the direction in which it is going. <laughs> but she has to be in This one. <laughs> All she does is think about how to open her legs for me. Please, 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 please. Allow me to handle it. Handle what? Don't I have the right to talk in my house again? Don't I have the right? Cynthia, where are you coming from? Oh, please, let, 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 let us leave that one. Listen, tell this cheap whore to go back to where she's coming from. Else, there won't be peace in this house. As for you, the result of your waka waka, your lifestyle will soon be announced. You think after messing yourself up, a man will put you in his house? <laughs> you are the biggest fool that ever lived. Auntie. If your wish, your prayer for me is that, then I promise you you'll be disappointed. Eh? You'll be disappointed, Auntie. Are you talking back at me? I think are you talking back at me? Before I open my eyes, before the count of three, you are out of my house. What? What is the two? Leave my house now, get out! Did you see that? Did you see that? Wait, you sit there, you sit there, and, and she insults me. Did you allow me to scold her? Did you allow me to talk to her? And ask you to allow me to handle this? But no, you wouldn't. So what do you want me to do? Strangle her? Yes! If you have to strangle her, strangle her! If you have to kill her, kill her! Anyway, I don't even know why I'm wasting my time with you. Bunch of lazy lots. Like uncle, like me. Cynthia! Cynthia! Oh, uncle. Uncle, please. I want to see you. Look, I am late for an appointment. Maybe when I come back. Please, I have to see you now. Please. It's really urgent. Look, do you know what your pain has been all your life? No, sir. Stop on this. You always want to get what you want at all costs. Uncle, I would have finished saying what I wanted to say if, I, if you had allowed me to start saying so You said you're in a hurry. Okay. Uncle, please, I need money. I need money. Angel's health has deteriorated. I need money for the heart surgery, please. Do you see what I mean? Have you seen what I mean? Don't expect you to even mention that to me. Uncle, Angel is your sister too. You can't let her die, please. Where do you expect me to, to get 500,000 naira to give to you? Eh? Look, in a no-win situation, the wise throws in the towel. Uh, no. No. Uncle, I'm not throwing the towel. I can't... I can't let Angel die. She uh. will not die. Angel will not die. No. Uh. Okay, then go there and expunge the sickness from her body just like that. Go and take it away like that by yourself. All your life you've been very unreasonable. You're a problem child. You just say what you want to say or do what you want to do without using your head. Just this once. Just this one time. Last time, please. 
have to save some baby. Please help me. Ask your wife. Please ask your wife. You know she has money. You are really a problem child. I should persuade my wife to give you money. are so happy yeah you know sometimes I wish I could just be that happy you know no half that happy oh, Cynthia oh. you can make yourself happy how how Zeno how how can I make myself happy when the whole world is against me the world is not against you Toss all your worries to the wind and happiness will fill her in through the tiniest of space. What tiny space? See, no, what space? You talk as if you don't know anything about my life. I mean, what did I ever do wrong? Do you know how my parents died? Oh, Cynthia, let it go. Please, just let it go. That I dropped out of school. Angel. Angel has had a hole in her heart since she was born for crying out loud. What did that girl ever do wrong to the world? It's okay. just a little girl. But this is not the route to happiness. You know, I need to ask her a question for me. Is there really a God somewhere? Oh, Cynthia. No, really. It hasn't gotten to that. Why? Everyone bears a cross. What cross? Did he God say that he gives us cross that we can bear? He said he would never give us a cross that is beyond us that we cannot carry. Why is my own cross so big for me to carry, Zeno? Let's just keep praying. Pray? Yes. I'm tired of praying, Zeno. My knees, my knees have gone sore. Because that prayer has killed my knees. I'm tired. <laughs> your uncle was going to talk to your aunt on your behalf. Let's just pray that God touches her heart so that she can bring out the money for angels' operation. Aunt Edna? There's nothing God cannot do. Hurry up with that money. Come I finished me. counting the money, man. It's complete. It's an hundred and fifty thousand. Are you sure the money is complete? Yes. You finished counting? 
don't let me live for one cover out of my money. If I live for one cover, not only will you get sacked, you will replace that money a hundred times. You hear me? What is it now? What are you looking for? Uh, what kind of person is that? Don't I have the right to visit our shop anymore? Our shop? Anyway, what is it? Well, um, I came to discuss something very important with you. Wait. You want us to talk about something so important that you cannot wait for me to get back to the house in the evening? I want us to talk about Angel. What is it about Angel again? Edna, Cynthia needs her help for Angel's operation. Wait, you mean the reason why you're in this shop this afternoon is to ask me for money for, for that, 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 that girl? That girl, as you call it. Is a creature of God. She has blood running in her veins, just like you and I. Ugo, I can see you are suffering from joblessness. If you had been meaningfully engaged, you wouldn't be here talking nonsense. Remember that Cynthia's parents gave us hope when we were almost hopeless. In fact, it is their money that you used to open this shop. Is this the way you want to pay them? Wait, wait. Are you trying to blackmail me? No, no, no. Don't even go there. Let me tell you, if Cynthia's parents were alive today, they would have chased that girl into the street for waywardness. You hear me? By the way, you should be happy I used the money very well. You should be happy that I'm very resourceful. What if I were people who would have thrown the money into the air? How much is this one that they even gave me? And if you want, I'll give you back the money right now. So please don't like me. Okay, if that's the way you want it, it's alright. time I pray, the angels in heaven, they tease me, they say to me, why would you a mortal pray for an immortal? Mm -hmm. Auntie, she's not getting any better. <sighs> My dear, be filled with gladness. Angel will not die premature death. Mm -hmm. That I can assure you. And if I cannot raise the money for her surgery, she will die. Auntie, is there not something else we can do to help solve this situation? Something like what? This could be a spiritual problem. Yes, maybe all these witches are with that or banji and mami what? Eh? Yes, now. Mm. Let's go and see some spiritualists. Maybe they can help do something to help solve our problem. You mean all these uh, devilish spiritualists around all over the place? No. But you know that the devil cannot give solace. He gives you with the right hand, he collects with the left hand double. We just have to continue praying and hoping that Angel will be alright. And I can always assure you she'll be fine. It's okay, it's just a suggestion. You don't like it. Let's just keep praying. She'll be alright. Just... 
keep hoping and praying. You remember the instructions? Yes, I do. Just get a girl, take her to a hotel, and make love to her. Once we are through, she'll be unconscious. And then I should open the briefcase. Good luck. Thank you.
beautiful queen. Please come over. It's you I'm talking to. Don't you know you're such a sweet girl? Please come into the car. I want to go and spoil a little. Come on in. I've got the money. Ebu Munku Mudi Wadada. Ninjariba is there. Look at the money. Come on. Give me this light. Or oh, one day will I tell God it's my killer? You actually are the one who is like a killer, you know? Uh, no, baby, don't just misunderstand issues. What I'm saying is that you can kill me tonight with, you know what I mean? Man. <laughs> so, what will I tell God? Anyway, all the same, you've not still told me your name. Cindy. Oh, Cindy, baby. What a sweet name. <laughs> and I'm Jerry. Jerry. Jerry the B. Jerry the big boy. The biggest boy in town. You like that? Yeah, I like it. I, like it. <laughs> I love that. That's good. That's good. Um, you know, I think that should be the attendance. Yeah. Okay, just a minute. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, I hope you got the other one. Yes, yes. Everything is good. Oh yeah, yeah. I can see. Yeah. Keep it. Don't be there. Don't be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much is the whole thing? 2,500. 2,005? Yes. You calculated well? Okay. Okay. Uh, 2,005. Anyway, have that. That's just 5,000 naira. Just keep the change. It's for you. Okay. Thank you, sir. That much Yes. No, 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 no. Don't worry. That's just a ticket change. You will enjoy money. Eh? Yeah, with me. So let's just have a drink. Okay. Yes. Yes. Enjoy us. Oh my god. So which one would you drink? Anyone, anyone is okay. Okay. Anyone. Ah. Don't mind, that is chicken change. I will get more if, if you like that is poor. That's okay, that's okay. Thank you. This guy is <laughs> The beer knows that uh, you're... Don't worry, I have my money. Enjoy. <laughs> drink, drink, drink. <coughs> enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know what? I've not seen a lady as pretty as you are. Uh -huh. It's just as if you dropped from heaven above. Uh -huh. <laughs> Smile, baby. Uh -huh. Keeping a straight face doesn't suit your beauty. <laughs> so... Enjoy yourself. Yes. I think we should go into action now. Yes. Yes. Um. <laughs> That's my baby. If I'm coming back. All right. Just a minute. I'm waiting for you. All right. Yeah. Cheers. 
Yes. Let's 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 go to bed. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Um, you can lie down. house this night? No, madam. Efosa, I am asking you for the last time, did anybody leave this house this night? I am going to hit you. Did you open the gate for anyone this night? I don't open the gate for anyone. Efosa, if you don't tell me if you open the gate for anyone this night, I am going to have you sacked in the morning. I said for small madam. What? Who is small madam? That is Cynthia. You opened the gate for Cynthia this night? For what? She said that you sent her message to the market. I sent her to the market at 12 midnight. Go back to your post. And make sure you lock that gate. I'm just trying to alert you now. Huh? Oh, my God. You, you, you said fire now. Did you say fire? I'm just trying to alert you over something. Can't I get a good sleep in this house anymore? What useless sleep? What useless sleep when you brought in a prostitute into my home? I have warned you to stop using such dirty words for my niece. Oh, sorry, sir. That I use such a dirty word for your immaculate niece. Who has sneaked out of the house into the night to do that dirty thing called prostitution? What are you blabbing about? Oh, I'm blabbing. All right, let's go to her room and see who is blabbing. See if she's there. Cynthia said good night to me by by around uh, 11 p.m. Yes. Hmm. Am I not blabbing? Let's go to her room and see now. Let's go. Now. I agree. Let's go.
Who go to call a fossil at this kind of fine moon? Who will make this invest? So which people? Which Sabuza? Now wow. Where they call me since where they visit now, which is a wizard, they call me since. Two Only four bottles. Madame, don't. Eh? Madame, don't wait. Since four o'clock. Since I get into the first after how they plan away with you. Huh? No, madame. This is your plan now. Professor, I don't want to kill you. Shh. Wait, you're supposed to show up. I say, shh. I don't want to hear anything. You're not me, you're not that, so. That she's combined prostitution with anger. Hmm? Hot chick. Same thing, baby. You're welcome. You do well. Eh? <laughs> Uncle, I'm, I'm not my kid. Can't I be left alone for once? I'm not my child for crying out loud. You know what? I am going to call the police. Hmm? I am going to call the police because I'm not going to hide an anger in my house. It's called aiding and abating. That's what I am going to do. Yes, Edna, please. Edna, please. What? Please, what? Oh, wait, wait. You want to team up with her? You want to team up with her? You are now an accessory to Amrabi, right? You know what? Fire squad straight. Edna, please. This, this is a domestic affair. This, this is a family affair. What? Family? Which, which family? Wait, wait, wait. Which one? This prostitute left the house since last night. Comes back with her own shoulder loot and you say I should keep quiet. Neighbors! Neighbors, come and see! I have an old brother in my house! It's all okay. My husband's name! It's okay. Okay, ask you Okay, we're not getting right. Okay. My give me the briefcase. Give me the briefcase. Leave this briefcase for me. I said, give it to me. Leave the briefcase, my friend. Hey, it's so serious, huh? Now, I want you to answer three simple questions. One, where did you sleep last night? Secondly, where did you get this briefcase from? And thirdly, what is inside it? Answer now. Hardened criminal, answer! I say answer before, set that kisses your lips. Why are we from wasting time asking her? What's the number? What's the number of this place? I'm number. What's the number? Okay, well, let me help you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Again today, I've been so worried. I'm sorry, honey. I'm okay. Really, I am. Is anything wrong? Nothing is wrong and nothing is going on. Just that I attended the Lagos branch of my village eighth grade meeting. I never knew to run the slate. Maybe you should have called me. I know, I know, sweetheart, I know. And I'm sorry, okay? okay. Uh, Amy, then called several humans. Your father? Yes. But he has my numbers. Your phones were switched off. Did, did, did he tell you why he was calling? Not really. He just wanted to know how you're doing. I guess you should call him. <laughs> no, that's alright. That's alright. Honey. Are you in any form of trouble? Trouble? <laughs> not at all. Why should I be in any form of trouble? No, I am not in any form of trouble. <laughs> hmm, so tell me, what's for Tina? Your favorite? That's my girl. Hmm? Go see it, okay? okay. <laughs> You are welcome. Whoever directed you to my temple directed you aright. I am King David. I have the solution to every problem. And so, my friend, what is it that bothers your heart? Great one. King David, my friend. Ah, ah, ah. Sorry. King David. Yes, I have a serious problem and that's why I'm here. I imported some containers of goods for my business. But I also smuggled in some hard drugs. Precisely cocaine. Some government officials impounded these containers at the wharf. Since then, I have been running helter skelter, trying to secure the release. I have met with men in higher offices. I have pushed buttons right, left, and center. I have done everything, but to no avail. Please, King David, I need your help. Save me from this dire situation, please. My friend, your problem is a very simple one. As you speak right now, your problem is already being solved in this celestial world. And all we have to do in this terrestrial world is to fulfill all righteousness. And to that effect, you have to make some little sacrifices. Are you prepared? Yes, King David. What exactly do you want me to do? Two hardcover copies of the seven books of Moses. One carton of red candles, shot of two. I repeat, shot of two. Seven left legs of the tortoise. And there, my friend, you must get the clothes you wore the day the containers were seized. 
It must be cut into seven pieces and tie them with a black ribbon and a red ribbon. King David, how do I go about getting the seven left legs of the tortoise? Can I give you the money? You or must get them yourself. All by yourself. And then you must make a huge sacrifice by saving the life of a dying soul. Precisely, a child. All these in three days. And the time starts now. Uh, King David. Now. This it doesn't go to that extent. Huh? How many briefcases were you hoping to steal before you can gather the money for the surgery? You know, I, I know, I know. I, I, it was a very dumb thing I did. I don't know. But you know, that briefcase was big. The guy had money, it looks like it. You know. But that briefcase. Was it that it was the snake that was inside? Or it was money? I don't understand. You know, Zeno, I can almost swear that there was money in that briefcase. That guy has money, oh. He has lots of money. There was money in that briefcase. I, I carried that briefcase home. Then Uncle and Aunt Edna were struggling for the briefcase. Then they fell the thing down. Then all of a sudden, a snake started crawling out of this briefcase. I have never seen anything like this in my life. It's very strange. You don't know what you're talking about. It was the snake that was in the briefcase all along. See, no. He was money in that briefcase. Can someone be carrying a briefcase full of snakes up and down everywhere? Just count yourself lucky, Cynthia. That guy was a ritualist. Yes. Or you haven't heard about them before. Listen. The plan was, if he succeeded in making love to you, he would go unconscious. Then the snake would go inside you, remove your womb, and they will use it for ritual. And of course, you will die. Die? Yes, die. You mean I would have been dead by now? Hey! No wonder. There was a way that man was behaving. There were some big questions he was asking me. I've actually been thinking about your situation. Do you know that temple on Jasper Road? Temple. What temple? The other day we saw some clean rides packed outside and you were wondering what they were doing there. The one by the bank? Yes. What about it? Instead of you going to the streets, why don't you walk up to the priest and ask him to do something for you? Priest Zeno? Yes. What is my business with priests? He's a very powerful man. He has done work for lots of people. I have this friend that was barren then. She went to him and now she has kids. Is he a man of God? Is he a church? Cynthia, at this rate, we don't have any choice. Let's just go there. If it works out, fine. If it doesn't, okay. Okay. It's not like I have a better choice anymore. I don't know. Zeno, I don't know. Is it possible for you to give me 4,000 naira? I need to buy some drips for Angel. Today? I need it like... Like right now. The doctor said I have to bring it today. 
Okay, I will see if I can collect some money from my fiancé when he comes back. down, my daughters. Whatever brought you here must have been of serious trouble to your soul. And what can I do for you? My, my friend has a little girl in the hospital who needs a heart operation. Her uncle and her auntie who have enough money have refused to pay the bills. Um, what we need is for you to just do anything that will help us raise money for, for the bills. Just 500,000 naira. Where is the child? Lakeside um, Hospital, Willary. And what is the child called? Angel. Angel. The problem is indeed as simple as the solution. You have to get a virgin white car, a roll of white clothes, and a golden necklace belonging to your uncle or his wife. What? Um... But sir, we have already paid the consultation fee. That was the consultation fee. But this is the operational fee. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. But in the alternative, your friend shall sleep in the temple for one month. Um. So, okay, um, we we'll bring the white, the white roll of cloth. At least let's start from there. If that is what you have for the moment, I can accept. Okay. Fucking David is a magnanimous man. Ah, 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 ah. But I must warn you, you will bring the rest as soon as. Your problems are being solved. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you, Kiko. And let me tell you that you will begin to see the manifestations immediately. Rise, my daughters, and go in peace. Thank you. Thank you.
you have finally achieved your goal. She has done her worst. Mm. I wouldn't have been this myself. Mm. Let me know. Leave me, just leave me. Can't walk. I wouldn't have believed this myself. Where did she get the snake from? <laughs> what is it for? Don't you know she brought it to kill me? But God knows my hands are clean. That's why he rescued me. Ah! Just okay, sorry. Leave me, just leave me. Leave me. What would I do with this girl? Ah. What else? Hmm? You give an award for almost killing me. That's what you would do. Eh? You know, I'm not surprised at all that is happening. In case you're thinking of bringing her back into this house, you better get her a coffin that is befitting a harlot. Excuse me, that. please let me just pass. Let me wait for you. Leave me, I can open myself. King David, you sent for me. Yes, I sent for you, my friend. The spirit has revealed. Angel is the name of the child that must be saved. She is at the Lakeside Hospital, Surulere. Go. Go! Yes, King David. Thank you. But I must warn you, do not take the glory when you pay the money. The glory belongs to the celestial beings. Yes, King David. And do not forget my balance. 200,000 Naira only. Ah, 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 ah. Doctor, no, doctor, please don't tell me. Please, I'm begging you, God Almighty, please. Don't tell me it's true, please. It's true, it's not true. Of course, it's true. No! She's dead. The nurses are getting her ready for the operation. What operation? The heart operation, of course. Huh? You did it for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Doctor, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Doctor. God bless you. One man came and paid the money yesterday. A man? You mean you didn't send any money? A man came and paid the money anyway. That's it. You are kidding me. You are pulling my legs. No, not. It's not a joke. Please, go and wait for me in my office. You have to sign some paper before the operation can commence. I received the money you sent for Angel's medical bill. So Angel will leave again. Oh, see, I don't know what is going on now. I received the money you sent for the medical bills. I did not send any man to give anybody any money. Yes. What money? A man came in with some money for Angel's medical bills. He even gave me 20,000 naira for my upkeep. You come For your upkeep? Yes, 20,000 naira. Send any man to give you any money. I did not even I did not send the man to pay for angels' medical bills. I don't I don't know what is going on. You're joking. A hey, man came in here with a man. I'm joking. I don't I don't know who this man Anna, is. You're still here. Come and sign the papers. Thank you. 
Cynthia, my friend, and I. All right. Go ahead. I can do anything for you. Thank you. Please, what I'm about to tell you should not go beyond these walls. It's very, very confidential. Radio without battery. Oh, okay, okay. Cross my heart. Go ahead. You know, Cynthia has been in so much trouble lately. And you know, most of those problems are self inflicted problems. Oh, journalists don't start. Please. Okay, go ahead. Cynthia and I went to Davis Temple to seek solutions for her problems. Is that any church? No. The temple down Jasper Street. That's a devilish Fudu temple? No! It's not a devilish temple. It's a very powerful man of God. The one on Jasper Street? Yes. On your left? Yes. For granted, it's a Fudu temple. It's a devilish temple. What are you doing there? Juna, please hear me. You know what, I think you should sever every relationship with this friend of yours. But that isn't what I was going to tell you. I don't care if that was what you were going to say. I think you should sever every link with her. What is wrong with you, Jenna? Why are you being so insensitive to other people's plights? Zeno, I'm being insensitive. I think Cynthia is becoming a bad influence. I mean, what could she be looking for in a devilish temple. Ah! I was about to confide in you. I don't want such confidentiality, okay? I don't want it. I mean, everything about this, your friend is spooky. There's nothing spooky or what, whatever about my friend. She's just being myopic. What did you say? Did you raise your voice at me and say I'm being myopic? All right. Since you have refused to think, let's put it this way. What could she be doing at that time? Don't think about it. One day, one idiot will wake up from somewhere and talk her into money rituals. Yes. And you know her best candidates? You and I. But most preferably, you. 
What no. are you talking about, Jonah? What I am talking about is that you have refused to think. You think what you see upon videos are fictions? Baby girl, those are no fictions. They are real. Real story. And you know what? I've made my point on this issue. Jonah. I've made my point. Baby, please. I was about to tell you something. Oh, I don't want to hear it. In fact, I don't want to see Cynthia in this house again. That is fine now. I don't want to see Cynthia again. Just operation. It was successful. How did you get the money? I don't know. I, I got to the hospital and they said a stranger came and paid the money. How is it possible? <laughs> You're shocked too, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't care. I don't know. You know, God answers prayers. It, it could be an angel. Well, maybe it's God's angel. Which angel? You don't want to give me my own credit, right? Listen. Remember the priest said that you begin to see signs immediately. This is it. The medicine that the priest gave us worked on your uncle and your auntie. That's the connection. Could my uncle have paid the money? Who else, Cynthia? <clears throat> um, come on. Let's go and show them appreciation. No. <laughs> I can't go to that house, though. I can't. No, 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 Cynthia. You have to go. Especially now that Juna said you should come and pack your things and leave the house. Juna said that? Why? I don't know. Do you know, Jonah, it can be very, very erratic. Never worry. Let's go to the house. Come on, Guess let's what? go. What? I saw Angel. Really? She's really, she really looking really oh, happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, I mean, everything is just going on. I can't wait to see her. God is so good to so me. So are we going to see her? I'm going to see her right now. Oh, okay. I'm going to see Thank you for your kind gestures, sir. May God bless you abundantly. Cynthia, what are you talking about? Is this the way you want to end your life, Cynthia? Whoever cast this spell on you will never see good in his life. Yeah. Uncle, I don't understand that. I don't expect you to understand what I'm talking about. You can just not understand us when we speak. But I... But what? What are you doing? What did you come Sir, she just came here to show her appreciation. That is all. Over what? You came to show her appreciation? Okay, maybe you gave her the snake with which she came to kill us in this house, eh? No. So why, why are you talking like this now? It's not true. Uh, Beds of the same feather. Uncle, I know, I know what I did the other time you did. I can't explain it. It was a mistake. I'm really, truly sorry. But you still found it in your heart to help me pay for Angel's operation despite all that happened. I just, I'm really grateful, sir. That's all. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I never paid anybody's hospital bill. You know I wouldn't pay. You know I don't have the money to pay. Okay, Uncle, maybe it's auntie Edna that paid the money. You can't even say thank you to her. In fact, two, two, two of you, two of you are sick. You are sick. 
Satan's agent. I said we didn't pay any bill. Don't you understand? Good afternoon. Auntie Anna, good afternoon. Um, I just came to thank you for helping us to pay the money. Yes. That's all. Thank you, ma'am. What is she talking about? She said you paid the hospital bill for Angel. Did you pay such money? Wait for me, eh? Look, I am telling you, if you still like your life, you better get out of this place now. You better get out now. I know my wife. I'm telling you. Come back. Oh, yesterday. Obi, you have missed. You know, see, you have missed. The containers have been released. But how, how would you know you just came back yesterday? <laughs> no, seriously, I am I'm so, so happy. The good thing about, look, the drugs can go. They can go. The most important thing is I am still on the positive side of my father-in-law. <laughs> look, look, drink, drink a bottle of Moet's on me. No, in fact, make it make it two, three, three. <laughs> ah, this is. How did I get it released? You're asking me this question. You know, I'm I'm connected. I I press one or two buttons and <laughs> open sesame. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Okay, we'll talk later. Have a good day. Ooh. How is Angel? I guess our operation went well. How is Auntie Ngozi? I'm sorry, I don't know you. I am the fellow that paid Angel's medical bills. I, it, it's all right, it's okay. So you mean you're the mystery man? I am not a mystery man. I'm only um, a philanthropist. Every other month I visit less privileged homes, you know, the orphanages, hospitals, to see how I can help in my own little way. Actually, I got to know about you because I made inquiries. I am supposed to remain anonymous, but hey, I couldn't resist saying hello when I saw you. I, I, hope, I'm, I hope it's all right. Maybe it's all right. And, um, sorry if you girls think me too pushful, but um, why don't you join me for lunch? I was actually on my way to having lunch. Uh, come on then, let's go, you know, have lunch. Oh, hold, hold, hold it. <laughs> One day.
since I met you. Life has given me a new name. I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you too. It's a pleasure to be of help. But Cynthia, there is one thing about you that bothers me. That really, really bothers me. You never like your family discussed. Tell me. I want to know now what exactly happened. Um, my guy. I think we shouldn't talk about this now. Mm -mm -mm. No, Cynthia, no. The same problem shared is a problem half solved. Talk to me. Look, I am ready to erase every painful memory in your life. So please, share with me. Um. It all started when I was. Twelve years old. I drove a car into my parents. After that incident, nobody knew how to relate with me. I became like an outcast. Nobody was willing to help me. I started doing one odd job after the other so that I could feed, so that I could eat. I was raped. Then I had a job. I just wanted so bad to give life to something. I wanted to give her life. I found out that Angel was sick. She was born with a hole in her heart. All my efforts to get money for the operation proved abortive. There was nowhere else to turn. And just when I was beginning to lose all hope, Came along just like fate. And then you saved us. And for that I'm so grateful. Hey. It's alright. It's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. Now I understand how you feel. So Angel is your daughter. No wonder both of you are real close. But don't worry, it's going to be alright. Like I said earlier, I am ready to erase every painful memory in your life. I will be your father your mother, your everything. I'm going to stand by you. You will never want. 
you will never suffer again. Okay? But I want you to forget the past. I want you to forge ahead and make a new life for yourself. Pick up your pieces and move on. I will be beside you to give you support. Okay? It's alright. So, don't do this. Savior, you don't need to worry anymore. I am going to be with you every step of the way. I am going to be your bulwark against danger. I'm going to be your support, your pillar. You can lean on me. Don't worry, it's going to be all right, okay? I promise you that I'm going to be beside you. You can call on me whenever you need me, okay? It's all right. is not right. <laughs> what isn't right? I love you. I don't want to hurt anyone. <laughs> You're not hurting anyone. You're married. I can't do this. It's not right. It's, it's alright. Just calm down, okay? Just calm down. Let's take it one step after the other. One day after the other. Like you know, Monday will always come after Sunday. But don't worry. It's going to be alright, okay? Join the trade. I don't blame you. I don't blame you because I'm living in this thing you call a house. What did you say? You heard me. What? Jonah! Oh, Jonah! Jonah! What is that? What is going on? Bad luck! What you hear? Shut I'm sorry, but I think it's ungentlemanly for you to raise your hand against a lady. Who made you a judge of my life? Get out of here, who of you? If she leaves, I leave. No, no, Zina, please, please, don't, don't say that. Don't say that, please. Shut up! If she leaves, you leave. If Cynthia leaves, I leave too! You dare me? Yes. You dare me? Yes. Watch it. No, she Jonah! Can't. I don't blame you. I am tired of this, your big headedness. I'm going there and pack my things and I'll leave you. You talk to me like that! I don't blame you. Come back to me! Get out of my house! No, you can stop with me! Stop with you! I am you! you. It's always it's my fault. Nothing is a fault, okay? Don't worry. It's always my fault. It's okay. It's okay.
Good afternoon. So, you like it? Like what? Come here. This is your apartment. I just want you to be more comfortable. For me? For you? Yes. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. It's alright, it's alright. Look, if the world could be acquired, I would buy it for you. But it's, it's so big. I mean, all by myself. Hey, hey, hey Cynthia, come on. Nothing is too big and nothing is too expensive. Just wait. This is the beginning of better things to come. Come on, let me show you. Come on. Let me show you. Come on. Come on, let's go. Well, it's too early 
for you to start bothering yourself with Angel. Why don't you go to the city to take care of yourself while you leave Angel with me? Ah, uh, Auntie, so where will the time come? Every woman needs a home. <laughs> Auntie Ngozi, let me tell you, the man that paid for Angel's medical bills has been taking good care of me. Really? Yes, in fact, he actually rented me an apartment. Really? Yes. But that is not a home. A woman can only boast of a home when she has a husband. Until you are always saying that. Okay, okay. At least now that we have done angel surgery and it is successful, mm -hmm. then I can have time and peace of mind to take care of myself. Um, who knows? Anything could happen very soon. I think so too. <laughs> Auntie, what is her name again? Her name is Favor. Oh, Favor. She's such a big girl now. She is. She was the same one I picked up when she was two months old. Okay, the baby you brought from Newe. Right. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. I will be here too. Oh, Auntie, well done for, for all the selfless work you're doing for all these children. You know, it's not easy to take care of other people's children. Mm -hmm. Thank you for appreciating me. Angel. Cynthia. Okay, you me, you madam. I not see I'm not saying for the past, I mean, for the past, I mean, days now. Me, I never see him. You know now, guy. Okay, you know women. Just they walk up and down. Yeah, they walk out, scatter, anywhere where they want, anytime they like. Just enter the house. Now, so Shut up! Back. Shut up! Did I ask you that? Go back to your duty post. Since they've been for two days now.
Hand it tight. <laughs> how about you? This is the place. You know our house. Everything here. You can play with anything here, okay? Anything here. You can play with anything here. There's nothing like don't touch this or don't touch that. You know, you're gonna have a nice time. There are so many places, so many places that I want to take you to. We'll go there. You will have all these things. You can play there. There is a um, um, a Changorova. There's a lot of Changorova for children to play. You like that, Abby? Okay, um, we're gonna go around town. Just you and I, you know, okay? We're gonna have a lot of fun. Lots and lots of fun. Now, this house, very big. You can run around anywhere you want to go to. Now, I'm gonna show you your room again. Okay, let's go. you been this past week? Oh no, it's not up to a week. I was away for like three days. I actually went to get... Hey, even for one hour, I demand to know your every step all the way. I am now your father and your mother, your parents. Do you understand? Look, Mike, you, you really don't have to bring my parents into this. I mean, I only... Look, Cynthia, you're just being unnecessarily sentimental about your parents. Look, I rather expect you to apologize to me for the headache you've cost me this past three days instead of dwelling on the dead. Look, shit happens, you know. People live and die. So don't scare me a big deal about all these... Stop, stop. Don't. Don't you ever, ever... S Cynthia, come back here. Cynthia, come back here. Cynthia. Cynthia. Since I don't know the I brought you this. Really, yeah. Please forgive me. Honey, I am sorry about what happened the last time. I was so worried, so concerned about what could have happened to you. Please. Mike, you traveled to Abuja. I tried calling your phone. It was not going. I had no other means of reaching you. What was I supposed to do? I know. And that's why I'm sorry. Please. Look, all that does not even annoy me. What annoys me the most is the fact that you brought my parents into that discussion. You know how much I hate anybody bringing up my parents in any discussion. Why did you do that? Honey, it's all my right. parents did you nothing. Please accept my apologies, okay? Look, I promise it won't happen again. Word of honor, I promise. What was that? Who, Angel? Would you mind telling me what she's doing in this house? She stays with me. <laughs> she's actually staying in this house. Yes, is there any problem? I should be the one asking you what the problem is. 
because you didn't deem it fit to tell me that you were going to bring her to the house. Mike, you rented this apartment for me. I guess that gives me the right to bring anyone I want to stay with me into this place. No, no, no. Not at all. It doesn't. I come here and I stay here too. And I guess that means that I have to take permission from you even when I want to call for smoke. Oh, yes. Yes, okay. That is exactly what I expect you to do. And who knows your relations from here, there and everywhere. You're taking her back first thing tomorrow. Mike, that has to be a joke or something. To hell it's not a joke. Don't you see that she'll be a distraction to our fun? To what fun? To what fun, Mike? She's just a kid for crying out loud. Do you think so? Look, when I want to have fun, I really have fun. Now, would we be able to run around naked in this house and do the silly things that we want to do when she's here? Think about it. You're taking her back first thing tomorrow morning. Mike, I am sorry I cannot do that. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. Oh, no, you will. You will take her back. Because <laughs> you will take her back. Because what? Because what, Mike? No, say it. I dare you to say it. Because I will throw you out of this house and lock it up. No, nothing is the matter. It's not every time a man should eat. I am just not hungry, okay? Thank you. Mike, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to us? Our marriage, for God's sake. Mike, I have done everything humanly possible to make this marriage work. But all you've done is frustrate me. What are you insinuating? Don't take my respect for your parents for granted, do you understand? It is you who is taking me and my parents for granted. Do you think I'm a fool? Do you think I don't know what you're doing out there? Mike, what is the name of your latest mistress you're keeping out there? Shut up! Are you mad? What sort of a question is that? I said, what is the name of your latest friend? And I said, shut up! How dare you question me? I've been thinking all of this, Mike, because I love you. Because I want this marriage to work. If you don't consider that, consider your son. Ah, son, for God's sake! Can't see it. You're beginning to sound ridiculous. Mike. Excuse me. Michael! Street, off Natufi, Agudasu Larry. 
Moduba Street, yes. Sule, are you coming right now? <laughs> I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting. Please hold me, hold me, hold me. I'm waiting for you, okay? All right, all right. See you then. Long story. We'll talk about that later, okay? I had to change my phone because of Jonah. You know, after he broke my heart, I don't want to come near him. I don't want anything to do with him any longer. Anyway, let's forget about um, Robert Mike. Ah, he's okay. That guy has been a blessing in your life. <laughs> the sort of man any woman deserves. Mm. So lucky. Yeah. Cynthia, is there a problem? See, so, you no. Know, he wants me to send Angel away. What? Why? I don't know. He says he wants me to be here all by myself. He doesn't want anybody else to stay here with me, not even Angel. He just wants me to be here for him alone. If sending Angel away would make this relationship grow stronger, then let it go, at least for now. No. No! No! I mean... No! I want Angel to stay with me. Otherwise, why could I agree to this relationship in the first place? Why? Sophia, just, just take it easy. Don't be a fool. If you don't allow her to go, you will lose Mike and you will lose this house. Is that the kind of thing you want for Angel and yourself? But that is not fair. Angel needs me. You know that. I know. And Mike knows that Angel needs you. And I believe he will support her wherever she may be. I don't want anybody to take care of her wherever she will be. I want her to be with me. I want to take care of her. She deserves it. Yes, just in time, Cynthia. Just in time. It's okay. Please. Come on, cheer up, girl. Get me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to drink? What do you have? All right, I'll get you something nice. <laughs> Make it snappy. You can come with me in the kitchen if you want. Oh, I'm your guest. There's this uh, fine gentleman I want to talk to you about. Gentleman, he's from a very good family, he's even ready for marriage. I, 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 I cannot marry a man like this. No, I'm not even saying you should marry a man in the You get to know and meet each other. I can even arrange it. But I only came home to drop me in jail. I did not come to meet up with suitors. Babe, my dear, listen to me. Of all the treasures in life, the most valued is marriage. Give a woman the whole thing in the whole wide world. I take away marriage. The life of that woman remains in Yes. Okay, Auntie, I'll meet up with him. Okay. I insist, too. I insist. All right. Now, can I get you something to eat or drink? Auntie, I'm fine. Auntie, now that Angel has not been to school for a while, I hope there's not going to be any problem in our school. Don't worry about that. Do I need to come to her school with you? I'll do it myself. I 
I'm telling you, this guy is great. Really, really. He's good. He's good looking. He's okay. You know, he's an architect. <gasps> and he's got a good car. Hi. Good house. Comfortable. Nice guy. And guess what? What? He's willing to take Angel. Oh, that's so sweet. He's, he's so nice. He says he's going to put her in school. He, he, he treats her like, he, like his younger sister, takes care of her, everything. Oh, he's okay with her. I'm so lucky. I'm so happy. <laughs> what more can I ask for? Um, so, what about Mike? Yeah. Mike. Yes. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know, too. Um, but... Has he ever proposed to you? No, no. That's totally out of the question. He already said it to me a long time ago that he would never marry me. He would never marry somebody else. Okay, um, I think I'll tell him. Wait, what? I'll tell him. No, no, I don't think you should. Do you know, Mike, he can be a little bit... Um... Don't worry. I'll tell him. I know how to go about it. Trust me. It's me, oh. The woman's in. Thank you. All right. So what am I saying, Bob? Ah, he's coming tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes, are you going to be here? Of course. Come very early. I will. <laughs> I'm going to make you some nice stuff, you know. Please. You come and teach me how to do that. Banga. No, it's that little one I will give you. The banga. Banga, no. Yes, 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 do you believe that he wants us to get married immediately? So soon? I'm telling you, imagine me in the wedding dress. Did <laughs> <laughs> you start shopping for one? Oh, definitely. Um, so where are you going to get your bride? I was thinking about one place like that, you know, somewhere around um, I think Where? Yeah, somewhere around Ibadan. Where are you, you now? Hobby. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I've already made the um, curry sauce. Leave the ingredients now. You'll soon be here. I'm coming. Hey, hey, hi. How are you? I'm good. Please come on in. Yeah, thank you. Wow. <laughs> what a nice place you have. Thank you very much. Do you like it? You look, yeah, I do. <laughs> well, look at these. Man, fine. All right. <laughs> the artifacts. Okay. I actually bought it on one of my travels. Okay. I think I saw something like that at the Hilton. Really? Thank you, beautiful. Oh, okay. Please sit down. Please. Thank you. Thank you. I hope it wasn't so hard then locating this place. Well, the traffic, apart from that, it was smooth. All right, all right then. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, so how is everything? Wow. And so it told me you come up quite often. <laughs> okay. Let me take it like that. Um, most times I don't always get the chance. Oh. But I do try my very best to come. Yeah. She actually says your parents and her are quite close. Yeah, yeah. She's more related to my mother. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh, excuse me, the hospitality. I'll just get you a drink. Oh. Okay. Okay. What is your brand? Um, anything soft. Okay. Like, don't take the alcohol. All right then. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Be careful. <laughs> That's okay. I'll just um, um, leave this with you. Okay. While I get you a drink. Thank you. All right. Hello, sweet. Hi. Oh. You have a visitor? Yes. Hello. Mike's the name. Mike. I'm Bob. Pleased to meet you. Please sit down. Thank you. Let's drink it together. Of course. 
course. Um, yeah. Made yourself comfortable. For me a drink. Why don't you get yourself a glass? No, I already had... Uh, I'm fine, really. <laughs> Sit down. Of course. <sighs> um... Bob. Yeah, yeah that, that Bob. That's Mike. Mike, that's Bob. We already made the introductions, remember? Yes, of course. Uh... Um, Bob is an architect. Yes, yes, I yeah. am. Um, Mike is um, a businessman. Okay. Yeah. He actually deals in fiber. Fiber? Oh, they control almost the whole economy. <laughs> exactly, you know. Um, you know, he actually also deals in oil, you know, raw materials actually. Bob is for my place. Oh, really? Yeah. <clears throat> Do I get um, you something to eat? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. Yes. Um, how about you? Can I get you something to eat? Thank you, but no. Okay. You're welcome. I expect you to have said something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're sorry. That's the best you would say to me. You're sorry. Hmm? I'm sorry, I really don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Okay, you're sorry. What for? For turning our house into a brothel? I did not turn the house into a brothel. It was, it was, it was not like I was expecting you early th that morning. I've been meaning to tell you that. You've been trying to tell me what? Tell me now. I wanted to tell you that Go on. I'm listening. Bob and I are thinking of getting married. Look, Mike, I'm really sorry to be dropping this on you after all that you have done for me, but... I, I, it's not like you're going to marry Just me. shut up! Shut up now! No, we can't talk, talk about this like... Myself. Shut your mouth! Look, get out of my office now. Look, Mikey, that's get out of my office. Okay. Get out. Okay, okay. That's all right, really.
told him yes. What was I supposed to do, huh? He wanted answers and I gave him one. And then the next thing he hit the roof. But I told you I should break it to him and you refused. Look, Zeno, there is no point being diplomatic about the situation. Really? I think you have to expect the worst this time. Then let the worst happen. Look, Zeno, this man is married. He has a wife and a son. Bob is single. I'm single. Look, if it's about this house, then he can as well have it. He should have it. No, it hasn't gotten to that. No, it has. See, so, you know, it has. Look, he will never marry me. So the earlier he knows about Bob, I think it's the better. I think you have a point there. But I hope you know who Mike is. Hmm? I I'm not scared of him. I'm not. married man want to, you know, cage me in, in a world of spinsterhood simply because he, he waits some narrow notes before me. Don't be hard on yourself, okay? That must be Bob. Hold on. Hi girls, what's going on here? Hi. Hello. There's someone mourning here. Mourning? The final. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, I am very sorry, okay? Come on, chair Rob. Chair Rob. Zeno, did Cynthia tell you about the little incident that happened in my office? Yes, she did. Cynthia, I have given it a whole lot of thought. And I said to myself that it would be very wicked of me, very, very wicked of me, if I stopped you from achieving your destiny. You see, I have a family already, a wife and a son. So I know how men think and behave. You mustn't let any man deceive you, Sylvia. Some men will come in all guises just to get you into their beds. In the end, they will run away. So, if you want my approval of your relationship with Bob, then you must convince him that he seriously wants to marry you. He does. I mean, he's actually from my maternal side. Aunt Ingo's introduced him to me. She knows him well. She does. Well, that sounds serious. And in that case, you have my blessing. You know I can never deny you anything. Oh my God. It's 
so thank you so much. It's all right, it's all right. Look, just like I told you long before now, as long as I live, there is nothing in this world that you want that you cannot get. <laughs> it's okay, it's all right, it's all right. Ah. Do you know what this means to me? Thank you so much. It's okay. Oh, uh, okay. Can I can I see some smiles now? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And um, get you something to drink. Of course, oh, of course. For the usual. Ah, ah, ah. Right back. Yeah, I'm so see you around. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> now you can actually smile. Yes, I'm so <laughs> friend is happy. <laughs> Cynthia, what is the problem? Cynthia, what is going on? Look, if you don't talk to me, I'll get up and leave this place this minute. Cynthia, talk to me. You've been crying all day. Cynthia, Cynthia, you can confide in me. What is the problem? To Bob. Bob has abandoned me and gone to marry someone else. What? Please, don't tell me that. You can't be serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. You know I'm serious. How? How come? How did you get to know? From whom? Who did you get the message from? I went to see Auntie Gozi. told you what, Cynthia? What did she tell you? <laughs> she told me that Bob came to do his boy carry last week. <laughs> what? <sighs> oh, no. What did I do to Bob to deserve this? <laughs> Why is my own always different? <laughs> this can't be true. How? How? Have you heard from him? Have you tried to like contact him and hear his own side of the story? Each time I call him, he doesn't pick up the phone. And then when I go to a payphone to call him, the minute he hears my voice, he, he switches off the phone. Cynthia, are you sure you didn't have any kind of um, misunderstanding with him to warrant no. his behavior right now? No, no. Then what could be what could be the problem? How, how can he just abandon you like this? I don't know. Why is Bob doing this to me? This is not ordinary. I mean, why is my case always different? Bob, I don't know. Same Bob, I know. I need answers. I don't know. Why can't I do anything right? Eh? What have I done to deserve this? It, it's all right. It's all right. I warned you about me. Maybe next time you'll listen to me. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I just want to die. I want to die out of all this shit. Shh, shh. Come on. Don't be a fool, Sylvia. Come, come. Come and sit down. It's all right. It's all right. Listen, Cynthia, if you die, the guy will bask in the euphoria of being a superman who could break the heart of any woman anytime to the extent that the woman will commit suicide. Do you want to give him that pleasure? Good. So, give Mike a smile. Come on. So, let's go shopping. Let me clean you up and give you a new life. So that when next the guy sees you, he will know that he's a nobody. Come on. Hey, hey. It's alright, come on. <laughs> it's alright. Come on. It's alright, okay. Come on, let's go. It's alright. It's 
It's okay. Hey. Hmm. On the story, I am lucky to be alive. Those bastards threw me into the boot of the car and locked me in. My God, where did it happen? So I could call that and so they can get apprehended or something. Oh, come something. Come on, Kamsi, come on. What is all this thing about telling your father, your parents, anytime any little thing happens at the house? Sweetie, you call this little? For crying out loud, you called me yesterday from the office that you'd be home for 6 p.m. And I'm just seeing you today, and you call this little? Yes, okay, I understand. I understand. But why on earth would you want to tell your father, your parents, that Ambrose has locked in the boot of my car? Don't you know what that means? Your powerful father, the retired general, would say that I cannot adequately take care of his daughter. The thieves only used the car for an operation. A good Samaritan released me, and I drove the car back. The only indignity I suffered was being locked in the boot of the car, that's all. Come on, don't look so sad. I'm all right. I'm all right, okay? It's okay. But it's nothing to bother your poor dad about. Hmm? Where is Junior? He's gone to school. Oh, I forgot. Um, please, can leave on my path. I have to watch my left. Sorry, I blew my talk the other day. It was just that your question was so, so unexpected, so sudden. It was as if you were doubting my loyalty. No, no. I've just been hearing a lot of things and. Things, things. Those things are just my rumors. I love you. 
you know I can't stand shame you to another woman. I just can't. The thought of it drives me crazy. You're not sharing me with any other woman. You have never shared me with any other woman. Just like I said, those things are mere rules. I love you. You're my one and only. I promise you'll always be home. You'll always be there for me. I'm always there for you. Most of the time I come back late. It's because I just want my family to be better financially. Oh, I get it. You want us to be tied to your daddy's apron strips. That's why any little thing that happens around no, to no, daddy's apron strips. No, no, that's not true. No, 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 no. That's because we're never there. You I'm are never with... there. Okay. Let's not argue. Hmm? I promise. From now on, to be a better husband to my lovely wife. Thank you. Cross my heart and hope to die. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry, <laughs> I thought you wouldn't even apologize. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I love you. Okay, ma'am, tell me. What do you want me to give you as a present? You know, a makeup present? A present? Mm -hmm. I think I would prefer a surprise. A surprise? Okay, a surprise then. Oh, when am I getting this surprise gift? I think I have a surprise for you in my bedroom. Already? Oh yeah, you need to come and see my hair chains, you know. Mm -hmm. I can wait. Come on now, Mrs. Sarah Justin Jeffrey, all right. Ben, you can't be serious. I am no, 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 you can't be serious. You can't get more serious than this. Like I've said it before, I need to get myself a wife before I get out of this country. And I think you need to start taking me seriously. And you know that. Okay? What seems to be the problem, sir? I know, you see, all of you guys have met seem to have a peculiar problem. Is it that there are no good women in America or what? I mean, you always want to come back here and get a wife. I don't understand, America, are they lacking women? That's a tall question, bro. And you know, I ain't got answers for it. What I think you need to do is get dressed up and take me out because I need myself a girl for tonight. And seriously, you need to start working on that my wife issue. Then you know I mean it. What do you really need to? A babe for the night or a wife? Man, what is wrong with you people? I mean, you come back here running after our girls like dogs in the heat. Come oh, man, serious. Listen to yourself. What's with you and all those cheap questions, bro? Just give me Zeno's number or whatever you call her. That girl will definitely hook a brother up. Oh. Oh. Listen, I told you. Zeno is old school. Bad news, man. Bad news. Man, that's like the saddest thing I've heard. Too bad. Too bad, man. Because you know what? That girl is like, oh, the best thing you've ever had. Trust me. I'm telling you, I'm your bro. I got to tell you, that girl is off the hook and she's like, spare me that. Just give me the number, bro. Just give it to me. Listen, the last time I ever, ever dreamt of trying that number, you were switched off. She's changed her line. Why don't you let me decide? Give me the number. What are you afraid of anyways? You think I'm gonna snitch behind your wall? Alright, alright, I'll give you the number. Yeah, give it to me. Two zero five five seven um three five. Seven three five. Okay, I got it. Okay, let's check this out. See, the phone rings. It's working. It is working. Hey. Hey, baby. What's up? Do you know who's talking to you? 
Yeah, this is Siru. <gasps> Siru! Hi! Yeah, same old, same old, same old Siru. Wow! Where, where are you? I'm in town and uh, I'm hanging out with this dude over here and uh, he's not behaving right and I thought you could hook a brother up. You know how you do it now. You always have a way of moving mountains when I'm around. Well, I'm sorry, I can't come over. You and I are no nah, forget about this jerk. He's just here standing. You know, he's been up and down about you since I got back, and you know he no. <laughs> You're still this funny. <laughs> Alright then, um maybe I should send over my friend's address to you. Okay, you're gonna send it via text message. I would love that. So I'll be with you in the Jiffy, love. Alright, take care. <laughs> Bye. Okay, thank you. You see, the girl is good to go. She's gonna send her added by text message. Whatever. Please <laughs> get out of here. Just drink up. Let's get out of here. I clean this up. Man. I told let's you get out of here. I'm an excellent judge of character, and you need to start listening. Uh, you need to start listening. No way. seem to understand this. You can't meet a girl just a night and you've gone ahead to propose uh, without even knowing this girl. You, I mean, you need to know this girl. But there ain't anything to know, bro. You know, we all grew up having the picture of the kind of woman we want in our heads. And when you see that woman, you go for it. Like I have. You know, I think they call it... Uh, Love. That's what they call it. I think so. Yeah, so, I know it. 
Oh, cereal. This is not the way we grew up. This is not the plan. Alright. You think this girl fits into your perfect picture? You, you think she is the kind of woman you want? I mean, man, think, guy. Think. <laughs> Relax, man. You know, this girl is so right for me. I can feel it. She's so wonderful and what she does to me when I'm with her. Man, not even anybody, not even the devil can stop me. Not even you can stop me from having this woman. I'll tell you that, man. I don't know how to make you understand, but I'm floating right now. Say and I'm going to go down. Say real. Oh, you don't know her. Cynthia is trouble. Capital letter, trouble. Trouble is good. Wherever she goes, she goes with storm of trouble. Big trouble. Then there's only one thing to do. I'll weather the storm. And you know what? I think you should celebrate with me. Because the eagle has finally landed, my friend. That's what's happened. Listen, listen. Mm, I'm listening. Listen, I'm, listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. All right. Okay. You still have two weeks before you leave, all right? Two weeks. Yeah, I do. Okay. Now, let's put it this way. Let's say we take one week to experiment with this girl, try her out with some, you know, tricks, and see how she comes around it. What do you think? I mean, think about it. You want me to think about it? Yes. Okay, I will. Um, let me see. Mm. Yeah! I think I finally found myself a wife. What? And what I should be doing, not talking to you, I should be concluding wedding arrangements. Uh, you know what? I'm out of here. Serious. Hmm? Serious. I gotta go. Serious. 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 Hey, Serious. You, know, you be my best man, okay? Take notes and get ready, okay? Cyril is my friend and is very serious about getting married to Cynthia. I've told you, Zuno, I am not interested. I'm totally not interested. I mean, look at the way all these guys come into my life and they fizzle out in the middle of it. I am really tired. I don't need any more disappointments. Come on, Cynthia. Don't blank out because a few miscrants came your way. A few miscrants. <laughs> now tell me, Zuno. Did you not approve of all of them? No. Did you not approve of Paul? No. Leo? No. James? No. What about Bob? Ha! I think who's introduced Bob to you now? Um, forgot. Hello. Who was Paul? It wasn't it wasn't anything too serious. It was not for a long time. Yeah. What <clears> I'm <throat> trying to say is that Cyril is a gentleman. He doesn't even stay in Nigeria. So he will not just come down and search for a woman and then go on to mess her up. Now, that's why I have a problem with him. Most of those boys, when they come back here, only think of getting married during Christmas periods. But Mike, he... Yes. And after that, they travel back to their bases and wedding has ended for that year until the next Christmas. Exactly what I was saying. I don't want anybody to use me as a periodic toy or... The truth that most people do not know about these boys is that they already have families out there. So even if they want to keep you here, it's just to catch their fun. Even if they eventually get married to you, that's where it ends. They would never take you back there for obvious reasons. They are families. No, Mike, not with Cyril. He got to the state with an immigrant visa. So he didn't need to get married to an American to have his green card. He's a very different person. <laughs> okay, okay. So he doesn't look like I'm a very negative person. Just this one time, just this last time, I'll give him, I'll give him a try. But... Um, not so fast, Cynthia. Zeno. Yes, my... I want you to arrange a meeting between me and, um... What is his name? Cyril. I want you to arrange a meeting between me and Cyril. Tell him that Cynthia's uncle would like to have a chat with him. I want to assess him. Okay. Fine, no problem. I'll do just that.
like that now. You should just take it easy. Eh? Please, I don't, I don't have that. Just since I just have, please just wait. I hope you know you'll be the one to do my ashebi. Exactly. The wedding will be taking place on the 23rd of September. Oh, yes, I know Cynthia's wedding is on that same day. We actually fixed it to be on the same day. And we'll be having the reception at the same venue too. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, the husband got into the country two days ago. Yeah. What? You would like to come and see us? That would be great! <laughs> I will tell Cynthia, okay? Alright then, maybe when you come, we'll show you the colors. Okay, thanks, eh? Bye. Um, yes, I, I don't know. I think that back is a little bit. It is an adjustment. It's a bit more like. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't should touch the puffiness, but I want to Oh my god, Syria, come on! You're not supposed to see me in my gown before the wedding day. Excuse me. Alright, since you're already here, how do you like the dress? How do you like the splendor? <laughs> Splendor? That ain't no splendor. That's my hard end cash going down the drain. Sir, what was that? Because there ain't gonna be any wedding. Now or forever. Honey, what is it? What's the problem? You're a liar. That's what? A liar! Liar? Me? You never told me you had a baby. You were a prostitute. You've committed several abortions. You killed your last suitor and absconded with his money. Who, me? Oh, I don't stand there acting holier than thou. Cyril, what suitor? I mean, what suitor are you talking Bob! about? Bob! That was his name. Bob, you hear me? Bob! Deny it! Bob? Look, honey, I really don't know where all this is coming from. I don't know who's telling you this, but... Oh! I was going to spend the rest of my life with you. I loved you, baby. But thank goodness this good fella came and exposed you for whom you really are. What good fellow? Who, who's the good fellow? Sweetie, please. We have come a long way. Please don't do this. You know don't you dare touch me. You Jezebel. You know what? It's finished. I'm through with you. Finito. Cereal. Cereal. Tell me, Cereal! Bastard! Bastard! Coward! Did you just call me? Coward! That's what you are, Cereal! You're a coward! How can somebody tell you things about me? And you believe it! You can't even look me in the eye and trash it out! You want to walk away from my life and leave me in the dark? How dare you! I don't need to leave you in the dark, baby. You're in the dark already. You're a dark woman. That's what you are. What is happening? What is going on? Oh, come on. Stop acting up. It's just your dirty past that's sorting you out. And you know it. Somebody's doing this to me. Who is this fellow? So you don't think I'm making this up? I'll prove it to you. Cynthia is a girl that no man should associate with. First, she lies. Did she tell you that she was my girlfriend? Your girlfriend? But you said she was your cousin. Well, she made me say it. Did she ever tell you that she had a baby yeah. that's living with her it auntie? Sounds familiar, right? God. Did she tell you that she was once so a prostitute? Oh my God. Who lived in a brothel? Oh my God. It's all true. I don't know all this. God. Damn you, woman. Damn you! This is business kind of business. You either take it or leave it. Four million naira. Okay. Don't 
won't even come near me, you, Lucifer. So it was you all of this while? It was you? <laughs> what are you talking about? Mike, I heard it all. I heard it all, Mike. I told you about my whole life. And then you go telling all those people, Mike, what? don't even try to deny it. I heard it from Cyril. He... Mike, he played it for me on his phone. What did I do to you, Mike? What did I ever do to you to deserve this? Why? Why do you do this to me? You've done nothing wrong, Cynthia. I did it because of love. Love, Cynthia, love is what I have for you. Love? Love will make you want to jeopardize my future, Mike. What kind of love will want to make you throw away my whole essence, Mike? Why? Where did all this love come from? From deep within my soul, Cynthia. That love comes from deep within my soul. I hate you so much. You evil rat! I'd rather you hate me than me watch you live with another man. If I hurt you so much, Cynthia, if you feel so much hatred for me, drive a spear into my heart and I'll gladly die in peace. I discovered you were sleeping away from me. So I had to use your past to arrest the situation. And betray everything I trusted in you for, Mike. And you told all those people. Did you remember to tell them all I went through after my family accident? But no, you didn't. Mike, did you remember to tell them all I suffered in my life? Did you remember to tell them that I was raped and that that's how I had angel because I was looking for food to eat? Did you? Did you? Cynthia, just accept the truth. What truth, you bastard? What truth? That I am the only man in this world who has the capacity to accommodate your past. You will burn in hell. Even the heat of hell cannot be compared with the heat of my love for you. I love you, Cynthia. I love you. I love you. Tell you! Tell you! against the wall and she doesn't want to fall she must do all she can to stand tall she's a victim of circumstance oh, life can be unpredictable mm. and what's meant to be is unstoppable you may have your dreams and aspiration But the life can throw you into confusion Cause things ain't working out as you expected And all along you thought you were protected But life deals you one blow after another And you feel that you were going, going under You're faced with hard choices Oh And you find yourself Doing what you didn't plan to do Could she be blamed oh, oh, For what she did For what she did Should she be blamed No, no, no For who she is Ooh. 
What did you see? Sit down and tell me. This is not a matter of sitting down. I saw one monstrous looking jeep. Only money rituals can afford it. I will see jeeps every day. What's so special about jeeps? Do you know who I saw driving it? Who? Mm. Cynthia, your niece. <laughs> hey, God. Cynthia. I told you that Cynthia is not only a prostitute, armed robber. She has joined money rituals. <laughs> yes. Ah, but you are the one that came here already to tell me that that. Cynthia drove one woman from my husband's house and took over. I mean, the man can easily buy her a jeep. Ah, that is old story. The man drove her away a long time ago. She's been gallivanting about the whole place. Listen to me. When the police come looking for her, they will call on you. They will call on you. Look, 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 Edna. Look, I am sick and tired of stories about Cynthia. Every time you come here to tell me stories about Cynthia, I don't want to hear it again. As far as I am concerned, Cynthia is out of my life. And that is good readers to bad nonsense. Please don't come here telling me stories about Cynthia. I don't want to hear it again. Listen to me. You must hear it when the police come looking for Cynthia. Because you are her relation. Police won't come for me. <laughs> Cynthia is an adult. If she commits a crime and she's caught, she faces the music mm. and not me. I am living my own life the way I want to live. So if I, I don't want to hear stories about Cynthia, I am tired. I am you tired. must hear it. You are a good show, you must say. Okay. Are you hearing me? When the police come to give her, they will call you. Madam, madam, no bless you. The guilt one woman so will come. She about 20 minutes ago. She says she your car cousin come, 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 come. They come from the same family. Uh, but she work out come out. Her back still there inside my office. I know Grimace she enter. You know say Lagos with this. Because we and Oga no there around uh, No Grimace she enter house. Oga's cousin? Yes, ma'am. From where? She says she come from Bauchi. She fine. Tall. She still, she resembles students. So. Mm. My young girl. Bauchi. Hmm. Why is she now? Uh, she come on, say she should make she go buy something, but her back, everything still there inside my office. So. Okay, when she comes, let me know. Okay. Ma. Daddy would more like to see Junior later in the evening today. That's okay by me. And your cousin is waiting in the house for you. Cousin? Yeah. But I had told you not to allow these cousins of mine into the house unless I am in. Sweetie, what were you expecting me to do? She came all the way from Bauchi. Were you expecting me to leave her outside? Bauchi? Yeah. My cousin from Bauchi. I yes. don't have any cousin from Bauchi. Okay. So, who comes to the house? Charlie, 
Oh, now I know why you don't like her. Yes. You know what we need to do? Yes. When you get to school, you need to study for that. Okay? No, that's time I'm going to take first. You take second. Eh, that's the same thing we're talking about now. The process has already started. Okay? So yes. Halima comes second, well, you come first. Yes. That's it, boy. Yes. Give it to me. You're so lucky your cousin came home early today. Really? You know how are you? Uncle, good afternoon. <laughs> Honey, don't you know her? Oh, sure, I, I do. <laughs> it's been a long time. Very, very long now. I've really grown, right? <laughs> how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And what's that your name? Cynthia. C Cynthia. Uh -huh. It's been 13 years or thereabouts. 10 years precisely. <laughs> 10 years? Yeah. <laughs> mm, that's a long time. Yeah. Uh, honey, has she eaten anything yet? I'm so sorry. You know, I just got back. But Cynthia just gave me 10, 15 minutes and lunch. So. No, you cook for me. I'll cook for you. Oh, better still, we'll just cooking together. Okay, we'll do this That's why then. <laughs> so, Cynthia. What are you doing here? Oh, actually, um, my NYC was moved to Lagos and I didn't have enough time to alert you. I'm really sorry. And I might be staying for a while. Yeah. But don't worry, like it's, I'll be of help. Oh, I'll really be of help. I'll really be of help. You really know how to Yeah. Alright, thank you. Okay, let's go get you something to eat. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, let's go. Did you ask me if I'm crazy? First it was Bob. Then Chike. Then Cyril. I actually thought I was crazy. I thought I was possessed. Jinxed. But no. It was you. It was you all this while. You were the unseen hand. Why? Look, Cynthia. I did all that because I love you. Shh. It's too late. I don't need your excuses anymore, Mike. But why? Why would you do this to me? I trusted you. I confided in you. How could you use it against me? And then you lied on me, scandalized me. Why? Mike, why? Well, since you will have nobody else in the whole world, have me. You can have me. You can have me. Is that why you're going to ruin my marriage? Now listen here, Cynthia. I am giving you two hours. Two hours to go in there, get your things and get out of my house. Else. Else what? this game. I'm only playing it with you. The game has started. Now let's see who wins.
Well, no, don't tell me I told you about Halima Singh. Oh, of course. That was the first thing you told me before I got into this house. I don't know what Halima has done to my son. Is it that Halima this today or Halima that tomorrow? Oh, you know kids the way they are. But I'm sure you and Halima are going to be friends now, won't you? No, but still, you know, you know what you're going to do. No, mommy, what am I going to do? <laughs> you're going to get married. No, mommy, no. <laughs> Why? Don't you like Halima? No, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided that the world will not have me. <laughs> I hope you are ready to marry me. What? I you not. You know my wife, Mki. How do you expect me to do that? Do you think I care? No, did you think I care? I swear. Mike, I am giving you 48 hours. 48 hours to marry me. If you don't, I am going to bring hell down into this house. I will tell the general's daughter exactly who I am. <laughs> Know what that means. Huh? You, you can't do that. She won't believe you. Oh, really? Do you want to try this with this? Cynthia, this is crazy. Very crazy. You just can't ask me to marry you. I already asked. Mike, I am waiting for your answer. Cynthia, Cynthia, please let's let's not fight, okay? Let's let, let's go to a reasonable compromise, okay? Whatever or the thing you want, I, I, I'll do for you. Just it is too late. Okay, just just give me some few hours. My wife will soon be back. My son's school is just next to it. So please, I, I beg you. You think I care? No, Mike. You really think I care? And the thing that the washing machine just broke down two weeks ago. Oh. Uh, Mike didn't even bother about it. All he's bothered about is I hope just walk into his wardrobe and see his clothes neatly arranged. <laughs> Shame on you, Mike. <laughs> I was actually waiting for you to come give me some soap. Let's go. Let me give it to you. <laughs> to a place, furnished it just to make you happy. Now I am giving you the permission to go and get Angel to live with you. Angel, that's too late. Cynthia, I have done well for you. I meant well for you. I gave you a car and placed a roof over your head. Mike, you actually think that a woman's happiness lies with 
a car and a roof over her head. No. The ultimate happiness is marriage. Why don't you want to marry me, Mike? You mean you've been lying to me all along? Lying about what? Oh, you said you love me. That you can never live without me. Marry me, why won't you? Look. Why? I, I meant every word I said. But we don't have to be stupid or else we'll lose everything. Lose what? What are you losing, Mike? What? Cynthia, let me tell you the truth. This business belongs to my father-in-law. I have been slaving for him. Now I want to liberate myself. Until I met you, I used to think that money was everything. I now know that love is everything. My tell me something different. For some time now, I've been trying to get some money off this business so that I can be a man of my own. Cynthia, I need you. I need you. You need me. For what? Huh? I am ready, very ready, to get a large chunk of this business. Then I will leave my wife and we can get married. Mike, so you think that after all that I have been through in this life, anyone can fool me? Mike, you actually think that you can fool me now? Cynthia, there is no reason for you not to believe me. I am not fooling you, okay? Just listen to me. Listen. You will go to Abuja, where I am building a new house. No one knows about this house. I will be sending you money so you can complete this house. Once it's completed, we'll move in and start our life anew. By then, I would have been separated from my wife. Actually think that I believe you, right? Cynthia, tomorrow we'll go to the bank together and I will open an account for the project in your name with five million naira. Cynthia, I love you so much. You mean the world to me, you mean everything to me. Please, just help me build your world.
so me now? How can you invite a total stranger to our house without as much as giving me a hint? Listen, she's not a total stranger. She's uh, Mike's friend. You know Mike? That's my friend in, uh, in Lagos. So what? Obi Nakilon Jebe. Eh? Even if she's your mother, I do deserve a right to know. Well, Kemi, now you know. Now, Kemi, you know. So can we have some quiet? Anyway, she's here on a course. And when she's through, she'll be, she's not impinging on anyone's rights. Are you okay? Obina. Obina, you have so changed. My love, what happened? I don't want to be with I'm sure it's because I don't have babies. That's why you're treating me like this. Honey, listen. I don't make babies. And at the appointed time, we are going to have one. Please, oh my love. Are you true? Obina. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, what? Obina, if you don't change this attitude of yours, I'll, 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 I'll. You will report me to your father, right? You report me to your father like you've always done? Be my guest. Kemi, be my guest. If I cough in my house, you go and report me to your father. I snore in my bedroom, your father must hear. Go and report me this time, and then we'll know who married you, either your father or myself. No, baby, I never said I was going to report you to my dad. That was what you wanted to say. I put it to you that that was what you were about to say. Nonsense. Hello, mommy. Leave me alone. My love. I never said it. Honey. She be blamed for what she did. Should she be blamed for who she is? She was only trying to be the best that she can be. But events and people around would have let her be. Now her back's against the wall, and she doesn't want to fall. She must do all she can. To stand tall, she's a victim of circumstance. Oh, life can be unpredictable, mm. and what's meant to be is unstoppable. You may have your dreams and aspiration, but this is so you want to go. What about your family? My parents died in a motor accident and my aunties and uncle chased me out of the house. How old are you? Thirteen, ma. <laughs> and you are sure you can take good care of yourself? Yes, ma. Very good. I will give you a job as a server. You will be serving good men and you know how to. Yes, Very good. You will do it very right. Very, very, very well. Very oh, you're out of this place. Here you go. Uh -huh. uh, follow the man that just left. He will show you what to do. You haven't eaten. I take money from your pocket and go and buy food. No, I haven't been paid. Paid? Paid for what? Eh? You see, big, big men come in the morning, afternoon, evening, night. You still cannot 
find your way and make money and eat. Hey, stop now. Who <laughs> call me? About my whole life, and then you go telling all those people, Mike, what? don't even try to deny it. I heard it from Cyril. He, Mike, he played it for me on his phone. What did I do to you, Mike? What did I ever do to you to deserve this? Why? Why do you do this to me? This is not how it was meant to be. So dream, I wanna wake up. All of this, all of this must stop. Just uh, talking, you know, loudly. <laughs> <laughs> um, please don't forget to come take me to Mike's place. Um, ye yes, that will be tomorrow. Okay, then. Yes, no, no problem. <sighs> it's such a shame, you know. I'll be in this house all by myself today. Your wife went out today and she says she won't be coming back until very late in the night. And of course, you're going to the office now. I'm sure you'll be back till late in the night as well. I'll be so bored. No, 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 no. is a win-win situation with me all the time. He thinks I'm a, an eternal fool. What does he take me for? Now, he brings this lady and says she's his sister. When I know, I know she's not his sister. She's even given me a green light. Funny. I think I'm. Ah, uh, no, no, she's not bad. She's 
she's not bad. And I... I think I'm a bit wiser now with Mike. Well, she gave me the green light and it's, it's not personal. If she wouldn't tell, like she says, I, who am I to tell? <laughs> oh, why is that? Oh, well, let's see. I believe I'm going to have a nice time. It's my turn now to have a nice time.
Okay. All right. So how much do you say you're sending this time? Five million naira. Okay, that's fine. It will go a long way for now. Ah, uh -huh, honey, before I forget, yesterday government officials came on site and they almost disrupted the whole work. In fact, they stopped the workers from working. Why? What happened? If not because I recognized one of um, the officials, which happened to be my old schoolmates, it would have been disastrous. Well, they said they need the original seal of home. You cannot be building one, you have um, the photocopies. They come around to check these days. Look, I have all the documents. I'll fly them first thing tomorrow morning with them. No, sweetheart, you don't have to come. Just send it by career. Look, I am not complaining. I'll do them myself. At least. That will afford me an opportunity of sin. Look, Mike. Send it by career and first thing tomorrow morning we'll get it. I have to get it to that office first thing tomorrow so that they don't come back on site and disrupt uh, um, work. Yeah, just send it by career and the next one hour, 30 minutes to one hour, we'll get it. And also remember, you can't stop work, you can't leave work. We still need a lot of money for this project too. Okay, yeah, you have to have a point. Okay, first thing tomorrow morning I'll bring some money, okay? I love you. Is not exactly that. What is it like? This cheap swine, slut that gave shelter and all she did was take my husband. Oh, you you, 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 you slap me, Daddy. I don't want to be again. What's what wrong with you? How would I try to pacify you? Who knows what is my body? Oh, Opina, don't even go there. Don't even, don't dare raise your voice for me. So you have the effrontery to even challenge me. Don't worry. Obina, don't worry, I know how to sort this whole thing out. Come, come, come now, let's come, let's discuss this matter.
You're welcome. I didn't know you were coming. Come, so why didn't you tell me your dad was so Michael, since you married my daughter, I've tried my best to make you a man, but you have decided to remain a boy. I placed you on the table with the high and the mighty, but you have chosen to remain a swine, eating from the gutters. I, I don't understand this, sir. I don't. What's the matter? What have I done wrong? A foolish man follows kids blindly, just like a foolish fly follows the cops into the grave. Now you're insulting me, sir. You can't just walk into my house and insult me. What have I done? <laughs> Your house? Anyway, I've invited auditors to take the stock of the company's accounts. You will be made to account for every cobble in that office. Sir, I have been managing your businesses very well. I have, sir. Indeed. By using my company and my name for your drug deals, yes, the containers that were seized were released by my name and my signature. Is it how you run the company very well? Sir, I... Sir, I am sorry. And I'm sorry. Sir, don't do this to me. If not for me. For the sake of my family. Sir, since I married your daughter, we've not had any problems. She's around. Ask her. Oh, Mike, shut up. You're just a liar. I had all your conversation with that girl who present in this house as your cousin or your sister, whatever you call her. Mike, how could you? How could you bring in your mistress into our matrimonial home? How heartless can you get, Mike? You betrayed our love. You betrayed everything we worked hard for. Why? And you think that you sent her to Abuja and you kept sending money for her to build a house that both of you will live in? Oh my God. Mike, you are heartless. You are a mistake for a husband. Come see, come see. It's not what you think. Oh my God, hell! Hey! You're a coward for not accepting what you did. I told you, my dear. I told you that what is only interested is my money and my connection. Mike, I'll make you suffer. You're a fool. You're a swine. A good for me. Enough, sir. Enough. You can do whatever you want. I don't care. Who cares? I'm only respecting you, sir. Oh, I Mike, you're care. just a senseless human being. You're not only senseless, but you're very stupid. He's only a foolish man that abandons his home and all that he has slept for, for another woman. Oh, Mike, I promise you, God will judge you. God will surely punish you. Mike, now, I want you out of this house. Get out of this house now. Get out! I will go. I will leave your bondage. Oh God, Daddy! Always hearing things. The news is all over town that Cynthia has taken over another woman's husband. Not only did she take over the man, she drove the woman out of her matrimonial home. And this woman is going about crying, telling anyone who cares to listen how it was. So, where did you hear this now? Hey. You see, this is one character that you have that I hate. Always asking irrelevant questions. See, there are birds in the sky and the ants that are crawling on the ground. Have you heard about this news? The news is all over town. Anyway, I also heard that the father of that woman is a retired army general. And this man is spitting fire and brimstone. That if he lays his eyes or hands on Cynthia, not only will he castrate her, he will circumcise her family members as well. Look at me. See my hand. See my leg. I don't want anybody calling Edna and her children. Evelyn, 
Epoca and Chukomega when the trouble comes, so nobody should call me. Oh, hey. I've told you this is your niece. I think she came from the pit of hell. Anyway, are uh, my children back from school? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the most. Oh, okay. I've said my own. I'm going with Cynthia. Honey, I will be in Abuja first thing tomorrow morning. Yes, honey, when I get there, I will give you the good news. It's a very good news. Uh, I hope you're still in Abuja. Where else am I going to be if not Abuja? Um, you said the house has been painted and furnished? Definitely. Painting and furnishing has already gone on. The house is already furnished. Okay, honey, let me tell you now. I am finally free from Kamsi and the father. Oh, great. That's really great. Um, but what happened? Uh, don't worry. When I get down to Abuja tomorrow morning, I will give you the whole lowdown. Okay. No problems. I'm waiting for you. Take care of yourself. You too. I love you. I love you. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Auntie. <laughs> yes. Um, Angel and I are traveling. Where are you traveling to? I cannot tell you exactly where now, but as soon as we get there, I'll call you to give you the address. It's okay. Um, Auntie, um, I actually brought this. Um, it's a check. I want you to have this to take care and, you know, relocate all these children and yourself to a bigger and better home. I want to really truly appreciate you for all that you've done for Angel. And I wish I had the opportunity Angel had, you know, for somebody to be able to take care of me. I want to thank you and appreciate you. This is all I have worked for all my life. To be able one day to bless the less privileged like myself and Angel here. I want you to please have this to take care of these younger ones and yourself. And may God in his infinite mercy bless you and appreciate you for what you have done for us. Thank you for appreciating me. Thank you so much. Thank Andy. you. God so bless you. Thank you. All right, we have to roll. Thank you so much. Angel, Angel I'll miss you. Bye. <laughs> See you. Bye. Bye. Take we care of me too. I'll call bye you. Bye bye then. husband from me. Thank you very much. Kemi, Kemi, just take it easy. <laughs> what did you just say? Didn't you send one, one hard lot here to come and take my husband? Beat me up. Kemi, <laughs> which hard lot? I mean Cynthia. Cynthia, your so-called Cynthia. Cynthia has been sleeping with my husband morning, afternoon. Now I even caught them red-handed today. And you're telling me... Kemi, hey, you mean open eyes? With Cynthia, Cynthia and Obina. Look at this one. So that's the one viewing. Eh? So that's the only thing disturbing you. But me, I don't have anything to say. I want to leave the house for you people to enjoy so you two can join them and enjoy the group.
This house is still the same way I left it months ago. I am at the building site. You said you'd meet me here. What is going on here? This house has not been touched and you give me the impression that it's been painted and furnished. Look, I know what you said, okay? Okay, just come down here immediately and please don't waste my time. Cynthia sell. Well, serves you right. You trusted her with so much. Now she sold the land and your property and she's gone with it. She's gone with it. what? She sold the uncompleted building. <laughs> oh, oh, now you don't know what you're saying. Do you know that I sent over 12 million naira to Cynthia? She made me believe that the house has been painted and furnished. Well, you should have known her better than that. I called Ruben now. I called you and you confirmed it. For crying out loud, you confirmed that the house has been painted and furnished. Did I? Well, maybe I didn't understand you then. Are you dense? Are you dense? Do you know how much I bought that land? Oh, so you, you of all people could do this to me. Excuse me, sir. I didn't do anything to you. If there's anyone to blame, it's you. Tell me. Didn't you sleep with her? Didn't you? Sleep with who? My friend, you don't know what you're talking about. Stop blabbing. Just stop blabbing. I am blabbing. Obina, I am... I entrusted my woman to you. You were busy sleeping with her. And then you connected her to steal all my money I've made all my life! Oh. Your woman now. I thought she was your sister. So that gave you the right to slam her day in, day out? Point of correction! I never slammed her! Excuse me!
Life can be unpredictable mm. And what's meant to be is unstoppable You may have your dreams and aspiration But the life can throw you 